people thought I was undersized coming out of high school. Just got overlooked. Went to a small school, and I didn't go to any football camps while I was in high school. So that didn't help either. I walked on at Fresno State. The coaches really didn't see me as a person that could contribute on defense. So I always told myself, just keep grinding, and in due time, everything will unfold. Just keep working. When I went to JUCO, I lived with eight guys in a two-bedroom, slept on this funky couch, sometimes slept on the floor, me and my roommate switched. It was very humbling, but you gotta just be patient. You gotta keep working, you gotta keep grinding. Until everything makes sense. But it was all worth it. I picked Kansas State for a couple reasons. The Big 12 was a good conference for corners to make a name for themselves. I was first team all Big 12 in basically everything. Punt return and kick return. We got first team all Big 12 at cornerback. Second team all American and kick return at punt return. Second team all American at cornerback. Tied our conference for pass breakups. Tied for interceptions. Was second in the nation in kick return and punt return average yards. It's picked up by Reed. I play with a big chip on my shoulder. I'm 5'9", but I play corner like I'm 6'3". I'm a playmaker. Nobody will outwork me. A lot of teams, they're telling me that they like what they see on tape, that I was a shutdown cornerback. Um, they also like how lanky and how long my arms are and how big my hands are. They like my athleticism and, you know, they love my ball skills. I could catch one hand catches, have one hand interceptions. If I touch the ball, I usually don't drop it. I feel like a lot of teams, they love my film, they love me. I'm still gonna be doubted when I get to the league. There's still gonna be concerns and questions about my height. But I'm gonna still keep proving myself. Nothing's promised. Jay Reed with some room on the line.